it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. I'm going to show you one way to wrap presents um, today. And I love it because check this out. We're going to create little pockets. So you can either put a thank you card, a birthday card, a little note, or a little gift card. So I'm a big fan of giving gift cards, but I also want to give like a little something. So this is so cute because look, it has a little pocket for it. Everyone's going to remember your gift and the gift card won't get lost because they'll see it right here. And I just love it. So you don't need tags and then you can do a little bow down here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So here is my gift. Here's the wrapping paper. I already cut this wrapping paper. The thing that you need to remember is you need a, some room over here because these are the flaps that are folding over. So you need more than you normally would um, to do that. And then for here, you wanna make sure that it goes down maybe about three quarters of the way. That's gonna help. And so this is a little bit long for my paper. So I'm gonna cut right over here just to get rid of the excess. So I'm gonna cut right here. And I'm just gonna lecture you for a quick second if you don't already do this. I have regular scissors for everything, and then I have scissors just for ribbon, as well as for fabric. Because have you ever seen a poorly cut ribbon? It's, it's horrifying, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so first thing that you wanna do is, um, I always tape my presents down, so let's tape that down right here, about three quarters of the way. That's my preferred length. So right here, get your little corners in, pull it down here, get a nice tuck. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna fold this flap all the way down to your edge. And my paper is like, I do like my stiff paper, so this one, you might have an easier time if you don't have stiff paper. But anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna go all the way down to this edge. So just get, crease your, crease it like that. And then what you're doing is you're getting a fine point right there. And then you're gonna crease it over like this. Okay, so we're folding our first seam. And then you can see here, you can fold it like this. So on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna fold it kind of in. Ah, it's so stiff right here. I like stiff paper because then you get really nice crisp corners. But in this, for this type of wrapping, it is a little crazy. Okay, so you wanna get it to the edge like this, right? Nice fold, nice fold. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it down like this. We're gonna wrap it like this. So see, you have a nice little crease. This is our first set of creases. And then you're gonna fold it over here, pick this up and go over like this. Then over here, you were just creasing down our thing, go down to the edge over here, crease it down right here as well. So we have our two little two little folds right here. So if I take this one out, for instance, you can see this. I just love it. Okay, so let's continue though. So here, I don't like the tape to show, so I'm just gonna take my, um, uh, my glue runner and I'm gonna tape this down first and then do a little bit here so that this piece gets it. And then just take a moment to crease all your corners. Okay, so now you what you wanna do is you're gonna fold down, and this is too much paper, right? So let's just cut it off because it's easier for you to fold nicely when you don't have all that paper. Okay, so now you're gonna fold down like this, go all the way to the corners. We're always folding like to the edge, and then a nice little crease right there, okay? Then you're gonna fold in again to the corner so that you get nice crisp corners. And then on this side, same thing. 
So then I'm gonna fold it in so that I have a nice um, straight edge. And then see. And on this one, because you're not really gonna see it, I'll use regular tape right here. So you can see all my corners. So this corner is nice and full because we wrapped all the way around it. And look how cute this little package is, right? And then you have your little card here, and then you can do your ribbon right here, which I am going to do. I really like mixing up colors for Christmas, so not your traditional stuff. But you can still do a ribbon or not a ribbon. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do a ribbon. So I always tie it like this. You want a little bit extra, right? And then I do my two loops and then a little extra, and this time use your ribbon scissors <laughs> so that you can cut a nice clean cut. Okay, so take your ribbon and you want to make sure that it's down the middle, right, like this. So it's, you're just gonna tie a knot. That's easy enough, right? So when you're tying the knot, I want you then to go up and down with your ribbon like this. So it's really tight, put a finger down and then tie another knot. And this time, instead of up and down, we're tying it across. So you're pulling it across like this. So you get a nice, tight ribbon here. Now, I definitely prefer satin ribbon because it's so much easier to work with. So now I have two even strips, right? I'm gonna just do my two little bunny ears. Now this is where you, it's still loose, so you can kind of see there's a lot you can work with. I'm gonna bring this ribbon tail over here. I'm gonna try to like fix everything because right now there's it's so loose that I can still move everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna tighten it so that my bow is nice and tight. And here's my ribbon. And I'm just gonna use, well, my ribbon scissors. And I'm gonna cut evenly this time. So I'm gonna go up this way and up this way. And there's my present with my little card in here. I would match more, but isn't this just beautiful and cute? And you don't have to worry about them losing the card. Um, and they're gonna remember the wrapping so they'll know it's from you. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Here are all my different ones. So you can see it's always the same, oh, don't mind me, always the same look and feel. You can either put it in the first seam or the second pocket. Same thing with this gift card. Now you're gonna need wrapping paper that makes sense. So it's, um, you know, one that doesn't necessarily have a top and bottom because you have stripes. It doesn't matter how you fold up and down. Polka dots, the word ho, 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 that's easy enough. Um, what wouldn't work is for instance, like this, the Christmas tree, because you're gonna have upside down and folding over. You see how that won't work? So, all right, let me know what you think. I will see you guys next time. Thanks guys. Uh oh, I need to turn it off. <laughs> Where is, okay, here we go. All right, so feedback and then any special requests, please let me know. All right, thanks guys.